In this video, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step -step on how to start a podcast in Simplecast. What's up guys, welcome back to Podcast School. My name is Ryan Helms, co-founder of Legacy Podcasting and Melville.app. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to start a podcast in Simplecast. So first things first though, I haven't recorded a video in like two or three weeks because we had a flood in this room. And if you hear a lot of echo, this is also a good lesson for you. So real quick, uh, you need to be in a room that has, you know, carpet in the room, obviously, if not like things on the wall. So we ripped out all the carpet. So it's concrete down here right now. So you hear a lot of echo. So if you're in a room with like tile floor, wood floors, things like that, you need to get a rug down on the carpet or you need to hang some uh, like moving blankets or something like that on the wall. You also get a lot of reverb. You can take some of it out in post. So I'll do that. But quick little lesson for you, but back to what we're here for, starting a podcast in Simplecast. That's what we're going to walk through here today. Uh, there's a lot of other podcasting hosting platforms out there. I'll put a link here up on the screen. You can check out six other podcast hosts that I reviewed, but in this video, we are going specifically through Simplecast. So if you get some value from this video, go ahead and drop a hashtag podcast down in the comments section below. And if you're not already signed up for Simplecast, there'll be a link for that down in the description section so you can go ahead and get signed up. So let's dive into it now. All right, first thing that you need to do is go to simplecast.com. Again, link down in the description section below if you have not done that. It's an affiliate link. So if you sign up, I'll get like 20 bucks. I wouldn't hate you if you used it. Um, so here we go. Let's, uh, if you're already creating an account, you'll click sign in. You'll see a screen like this. If not, we're going to click get started and we are going to start from scratch. Now I have to try to find an email account that I have not used. So let's do that. Cool. So you'll get an email that looks like this. So we'll click confirm account. All right, now we are in a simple cast. If you already have a podcast, you'll click uh, import existing show and you can search for the show here or you can just paste in the RSS feed. But we're starting a podcast, so we are going to start from scratch. All right, once we're in here, we need to start adding some stuff. Again, keep in mind that all this can be changed. So anything that we put in here uh, right now can be updated and improved, modified, changed later in the process. So um, we're going to call this... Ryan's awesome podcast. Perfect. Um, a podcast about awesomeness. Cool. So you put your description here. So our uh, best practices on the description are keep it about 160 characters and have a call to action at the end. So wherever you'd want people to go to learn more about your podcast, we will add a cover art. So I'm just going to pick a random one from uh, one of our clients. Perfect. Cool. And then let's keep going. Episodic, episodic with seasons and serial. So most podcasts, if they're business related podcasts, things like that, they're episodic, meaning the newest one is always at the top. The oldest one is at the bottom. If it's serial, it's going to be the uh, oldest at the top, right? Because you're going to need to consume it in order for it to make sense. And then episodic with seasons is going to be the same thing. Newest at the top, but you're going to be able to group it by season. So we're going to do episodic. So it'll just be a, meaning the episodes aren't necessarily tied together. They could be about a bunch of different stuff. And we're going to do it in the newest episode will always be at the top. So we'll do episodic time zone. Uh, I'm going to, I'm U.S. East Coast. I'm going to say New York. English language. If you're going to cuss, hell Yes and categories so best practices on your categories is let's say we're doing a a business podcast on entrepreneurship so i would want to do business as my main category entrepreneurship as that subcategory then i want to find uh two other categories that are not in business but supplemental to this so i might choose education and self-improvement and for the third one i might choose news, business news. So they're complementary categories, but they're not in the same categories. The idea here is that you'll get uh, more exposure uh, to the other categories and potentially get more organic reach. So you'll want to put your tags here. So whatever those might be relevant to your content, type in the keywords that are relevant to what you're going to be talking about. Put those here. You can do some keyword research. Uh, you can use uh, tools like Uber Suggest. You could use tools like Keywords Everywhere, things like that. Uh, or just Google to get some good keywords here. So you'll put those in. Author, this is going to be you, your name, show owner. Uh, if this is my company, right, it might be Legacy Podcasting. 
and we'll use the same email that we use for the show. This could be anything, actually. You could make this any email. This is where notifications about the show will go. This email will also be in your RSS feed. So if anything happens with like Apple or anything like that, uh, they'll send emails to this one. Um, so we normally just put uh, two years in there. I'm not a, an attorney, so don't take my advice here, but I normally to put two word or two years and looks like we have all the basic information done. So let's do save and preview. Cool. This is everything that we want. Perfect. Looks great. Let's do create new show. Cool. We got a new show. We have a podcast. Awesome. We're on a trial right now. So we'll need to upgrade this to actually publish our episode. So um, let's do that. Let's add an episode. And before we do that, let's actually go up here and we'll go to billing and subscriptions in the top right. And we will need to select the plan. And I'm just going to do the basic plan for right now. This is most likely what you'll need. Uh, you could do annual and you can save some money. Uh, I'll just do monthly for right now. Um, you get just more analytics mainly and more uh, potential downloads if you use either one of these plans. Most people, this is going to be good. You can see the plan details here. Uh, if we had a promo code, we could enter it here. I don't have one. Uh, so let's do select plan. And we'll add a credit card. Patrick... And then we'll fast forward through all this stuff. Perfect. Now we have our card on file. Now we can add an episode. So to before you can publish an episode, you have to have your credit card entered. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go add episode. We'll actually put our first episode in here. Uh, Ryan's origin story. Um, I always think it's cool for your first episode to be about who you are and where you came from and why you're here now. I think that's great for your audience in the future to, to learn more about you. I'm just going to grab a uh, file. Let's just grab a random one. So we'll attach that file here. It's uploading. It'll do that in the background. So episode one, you also have different uh, episode types. So we can make this a trailer episode. If this was about kind of overall, like what to expect from the podcast, you can make that a trailer episode. Uh, bonus episodes are used if, uh, you know, you want to interject maybe a short piece of content, an announcement or something like that, or like a uh, impromptu, not really edited well episode, but it's like super relevant to the times. Maybe you call that a bonus episode. We'll do a full episode. We'll say this is going to be our origin story. So um, your summary is going to come here. Uh, to be honest, not a lot of podcast players use the summary nowadays. So uh, we normally do like one or two sentences here. And then the main podcast episode notes go here. And I'll go grab some show notes so you can see how the formatting and things work. All right, so when you have your show notes, uh, we type ours in a Google Doc. You could do that. And you can just paste them in here. And here's a preview on the right-hand side of, of what that'll look like. Uh, you can bold any of this stuff that you would like. Uh, this was a shorter episode that these show notes came from. Um, and then what we do is we do a couple quick bullet points, a quick little summary about the content, and then we do a couple bullet points down here. So you could highlight these and you can make these actual bullet points just like that. Looks nice, neat, has some call to actions, all that good stuff. Uh, explicit, if you mark your show as explicit, it's going to mark this explicit by default. So let's say this episode is not explicit, we could undo it. So I could say, uh, I am the contributor and Jimmy Johns is also a author or was a guest on my show here. Uh, again, more tags can go here. We normally have like a set number of tags that we always put. And then we put uh, two to three specific ones related to this episode here. Uh, you could add specific artwork if you wanted to. Uh, so say like for this episode, you created a specific graphic. Right, you could grab that and you could add that here. And this would, in the podcast players, this graphic here would replace your standard cover artwork. So just know that that exists. Uh, you can change the privacy, give it an alternate URL. You can create a recast. Uh, I'm not going to go deep into recast. Basically, you can create an audiogram uh, in here. So if you want to do that, you can select what color you would want to use. And then you could add a specific image here and we'll, we need to have the ability to actually create the recast here in a minute. So we've got everything in here. So to recap, we've got our title. Uh, we have the audio file, the episode number. You can also change this. So if you ever needed to fix anything, uh, the type of episode, we got our summary, which isn't too much relevant. We got our episode notes, which is the main thing that shows in most podcast players, the host 
tags, artwork, yada, yada. Cool. And if you don't include this, again, it's just going to default to your main cover art. So let's do save draft. Perfect. Tells us our audio file is processing. We can't schedule until that is done. But once it is done, we can select a date. Let's say we want it to release next Friday. Um, I'll have a video. I'll link it up above the best days to release a podcast. Hint, it's not Friday, but we'll just keep it there. So you can check that video out if you want to. Uh, let's say we want to release at 8 a.m. Um, hint, that's not the best time. I've got a video on that as well. Go check it out. Go subscribe while you're here. Um, and then we can review everything we got. We got the episode here. This was a long one, 50 minutes, the file that I chose. Uh, here's where we can create the recast if we want. We have our web players here if we want to embed this on our site. Uh, let's see what else we got. We can share it. We can get some social links uh, right here. We just copied the link. And for now, we I don't like this Publish Now button. I'm glad they put it way over there. Let's just do Schedule. Awesome. Good to go. So next thing we want to do now that we have an episode is we actually need to uh, submit this for approval. So we'll go to show distribution. Now we have our RSS feed right here. So this is actually what we're going to use to go to all the different platforms. So let's, uh, let's start with Apple. We'll do a couple of them here. So we'll go to Apple. You'll need to log in. You'll need to have an iTunes account. Perfect. So here's our RSS feed. We can double check. CPME, CPME, bam, good to go. Um, it is validating. I'll take this opportunity to say if you're not already subscribed, click the red button down below, please, and leave a hashtag podcast in the comments down below if this is helping you even a little bit. So you can see here in the background, it says failed validation. Let me explain why. So what I did wrong was I actually scheduled this episode. The episode has to be published for it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just click publish, confirm. Now, when I go back, lesson learned. So don't do what I did. I'm going to go back and I'm going to refresh this. Cool. So now we're here. We've got all the information that we put into Simplecast. Again, any of this can be changed in the future if you want. Here's our episode. That's why it wasn't validating. Now we are prepared for submission and we can just hit submit. So this can take up to nine days. We've had it take up to nine days. Uh, we've seen it anywhere between two and nine days, usually three to four days for your podcast to get approved on Apple. So that is going through now. Let's head over and do another platform. So we can look at Spotify here. So we'll submit the Spotify. You'll need to create a account to do this, but I'm just going to go to my dashboard. All right. And what we want to do is we want to add a podcast. So click over here on the side and click add or claim your podcast. You'll get to this page here and let's do get started. We need to put in our RSS feed here. Again, we get that from Simplecast under the show distribution right here at the top. So we've got that. Looks good. Let's keep going. Let's click next. It's going to say send code. So we want to do that. I'm going to go grab that code. All right. Here's that code. We're going to paste that in here. It's going to automatically recognize it. We're good to go. We're made in the United States. We are English. We are simple cast. And I'm going to say we are business. And we are, so earlier I said entrepreneurship. I'm going to say business and marketing. Cool. We can add additional categories. So similar to what we had before, let's say education and let's do how to educational. And then we can add one more just like in simple cast and we'll do news and let's just do daily news. All right. So just pick the ones that are most applicable to you. Again, we want to try to be in three different categories. All right. So now we're good to go. You want to check over everything, click submit. Perfect. We are now on Spotify. On Spotify, it's actually going to show up uh, instantly. Give it a few minutes, but it's going to be on there pretty dang quick. Uh, so then we can go through the others. So Google Podcast. This will actually automatically come up in a few days. So if I try to do it now, it's not going to work. It's going to say it's not indexed, but it'll take a few days and it'll automatically generate. Now, there is another uh, way to do it. So it's manager... Uh, Google podcast. I'll put the link to this down below. So podcast man with an S podcast manager 
google. So when you get logged into Google Podcast Manager, you can click this little drop down and click add show. Put your RSS feed in here. Perfect. Here it is. Next step. Send a verification code. They all love verification codes, which you should be thankful for because that means that people can't easily hijack your podcast. All right, so we'll grab this code. We'll head back over here. Boom. Submit. Boom. We submit it. All right, so it'll get started. So that's what I recommend doing. Google, go to podcastmanager.google.com. Perfect. All right, so let's head back over here and let's see what else we got. So there's a lot of options here. So you got Amazon Music, same thing, follow that, do what they need to do. Uh, Stitcher is another big one. You can put it on Pandora. Pandora takes a while to get approved. iHeartRadio, it takes like six weeks to get approved. Go ahead and submit it there. Um, some of these pull off of the Apple Podcast submission, so you won't be able to do it until they get done. Uh, do tune in. These are based in India here. So do all these because it's more exposure for your podcast. And once you've got that done, you want to watch your email for an approval from Apple. And that's going to be the biggest, longest one to take. That's where most of your downloads are going to come from. You know, we've got 30 plus clients and we see on average between 60 and 80% of the downloads come from Apple Podcasts, especially if you're based in the U.S. If you're outside of the U.S., it's going to be a little bit different, but that's it here in the U.S. So once you've done all this, you've created your podcast, you've uploaded your first episode and you've submitted it for approval, you have a podcast and it is live. So now you need to start going and tell people about it. I have a lot of videos on how to do that here on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe. Go watch some of the other videos and tune in for future videos on how to grow your audience and reach more years. So hope you guys got some value. If you did, like I said, comment, hashtag podcast down in the comment section below. Links everything I talked about down below. Link to Simplecast, all these different apps where you can submit your podcast. And good luck to you as a podcaster. So I've been in the game for several years now. I think I've had 260,000 downloads on my podcast. So I understand what it's like to get started. I had zero audience when I did. So let me tell you one thing. You can do this. Peace, guys. Take care. Ryan, I'm out.